Good morning, Britain. Morning. Boris blasts new COVID claims. The former Prime Minister is said to be considering legal action after he was reported to two police forces by the Cabinet Office of new allegations he broke lockdown rules at Downing Street and Chequers. The streets of Ely in Cardiff have remained peaceful overnight, but angry residents say that serious questions remain as the police investigate CCTV footage, which shows a police van following two people on an electric bike, reportedly just three minutes before the fatal crash which sparked the riots. Tributes paid to great-grandmother Helen Holland, who has died two weeks after she was hit by a police motorcycle escorting the Duchess of Edinburgh through West London. Well, she is the woman who well may seal Donald Trump's fate. In an exclusive interview, Stormy Daniels reveals here how she copes with daily death threats for speaking out against the former US president, why she wants to give evidence against him next year in court, and her personal message for his wife, Melania. Stormy Daniels joining us live in the studio right here at the desk after 8 o'clock. They were the holy trinity of British punk, so how did the Sex Pistols, the Buzzcocks and the Clash change Gary Kemp's life forever? Plus, what does Gary and former Pink Floyd bassist Guy Pratt think of the rise of AI in the music industry? Some diverse questions to ask both of them after half past eight. <laughs> And the only question is, will we see the sunshine today? And actually, the answer is yes. Fine and dry, plenty of sunshine, feeling warm. I'll have all the details for that and more live from Wisley at their gorgeous Wisteria Walk. Wednesday, 24th of May, 2023. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Susanna Reid and Richard Maidley. Good morning, Hello, Britain. Good morning. It's just after six o'clock. Well, this time yesterday morning, we were talking about that shocking scene. It looked like the aftermath of a war zone yeah, yeah. in Ely in yeah. Cardiff. It was like Ukraine, wasn't um, it? It's calm this morning, mm -hmm. but it's got a lot stormier for the police. Well, this time yesterday, we still didn't know why. We, we were talking about some weird mass hysteria. What had happened? Yeah. Why, why the riot the police yeah. were out in the streets? It's extraordinary. And bit by bit, through the day yesterday, the, the picture became clear. There was clearly this, this chase, this van going after two people on a bike. We assume it's the two, the two teenagers who were to die three minutes after that CCTV footage was, uh, was taken. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's led to basically a, a loss of faith in the police in the area because they spent half the day denying that they were involved in any way, shape or form. Yep. And they were clearly central to it. So there's a big problem with uh, police PR in uh, Cardiff. So, um, <clears throat> yes, and uh, we're going to speak to our reporter in Cardiff um, this morning, of course. Um, but our main news this morning oh, is uh, harking back to Partygate, because Boris Johnson, the former Prime Minister, is considering legal action against the Cabinet Office after officials reported him to the police over further potential rule breaches during the COVID lockdown. It's the gates, isn't it, that just won't go away, party gate. One allegation is that his uh, ministerial diary revealed his family and his friends visited the former PM's country house, Chequers, during the pandemic, which would, would have been against the rules. Mm. Uh, the police say that they're now assessing the information from those diaries that have been passed over to them. Our chief correspondent, Richard Gaysford, is in Downing Street. Richard, these documents were being reviewed in preparation for the COVID public inquiry, actually on Boris Johnson's behalf. So it's his own lawyers who've ended up handing this stuff over to the law. 